Hi, this is Eric Dressen, and these are my indies. Probably 79. Looking at skateboarder magazines, seeing photos of like Dwayne and like Steve Olson riding indies, and like Scott Frost. I remember him showing up at Marina Skate Park and he just had indie stickers all over his helmet and I was just like, oh, that's the sickest thing. I want to ride for indie. I'm a kid from the 70s, just watching like Tony Alba and Jam, all the gnarly dudes just carb grinding and skating as fast as they can. So that's just how I want to skate too. And I think I got my first pair of indies in the parking lot of Big O. It was like during a Big O contest. I'm not sure who gave them to me, but Dwayne said something to somebody like, give this kid some indies. And I switched out my trucks, but I've always rode indies ever since. My setups, I always ride Santa Cruz boards, independent trucks, independent hardware, and OJ wheels, the Elite Formula. I like to ride 56 millimeter, and I like the 101 hardness. And then I just started riding the Bronson ceramic bearings, and they're insane. I rode every bearing there is, and these are the fastest and smoothest. I like riding the 159s, standard, because I ride a nine inch wide board and they fit just perfect. They don't hang over, they just ride on the edge right there. I like to ride the independent genuine parts white bushings, the soft ones. These ones just are perfect. Right when you put them on, they're just good to go and they last forever. And I also like to use indie bolts. These things are sick. My last two pairs of Indies I had for four years. Somehow I just never changed them. I had one pair of 149s that I rode for almost five years solid. They were just grind down perfect and just turn perfect. And then I started riding wider boards, so I started riding the 159s. And I rode those, my last pair of trucks, for at least three years. But then I'd been saving these black anodized ones for a while. I was waiting for like the special board. So when I got this, my new board in the, in the black stain, I was like, oh, that'll go perfect. Like, I just love how the black trucks look on this black board. I just think it looks so tough. And it reminds me of like the late 80s Santa Cruz setups and stuff. It looks like some truck like Grosso or Tom Knox would ride these, you know, and like the old sick photos of those guys. Yeah, I'm just so proud to be part of the independent legacy. I was just a fan and just, you know, as a kid, you dream about being on teams and like, I'm on Indy, and it's, I still trip to this day, because Indy's the sickest, and it's part of our culture. It's been a tradition, and like, all my favorite skaters ride Indies. From back in the day, Brad Bowman rode Indies. Like, his boards look so sick, his setups with his Indies, and Salba, and Malba. Olsen board back in the old Santa Cruz board back in the day with Indies, that was the sickest setup you could have. I'm just obsessed with skateboards. Like, I love every part of like grip tape, and like say these trucks, these I sat and looked at them for two years, waiting to ride them. They look so rad. Just looking at them looks so tough and just wanted them on the perfect board. And then nowadays, like Milton Martinez rides Indies. His trucks are sick. Like, you know, I just look at it, oh, I want his truck. Or even Hewitt, you know, they're like living, breathing tradition of Indie. You know, they just live and breathe it. It's so sick. And I want to be like that too. Ha <laughs> ha